This bokeh effect was first started on this format with Photoshop and there's been many imitations of it and uh, the GIMP has many versions and, and methods of doing it. Some are hard and some are simple. This method here is, is fairly basic and you, you'll get the, uh, the bokeh effect which means that the background is out of focus and the, the front forward is in focus. It's Japanese for out of focus. So we'll close this off and start our bokeh. First you need to make a brush. So we open a new file. It needs to be about 140, 150 by 150. And we type that in, in the uh, height and width. And the other thing is, it needs to be in transparency. So we need to hit this advanced options. It doesn't give you much indication what's hidden behind this little uh, little square. So we press on the little square and open it up. And we have fill with. And you pull the arrow down and we ask for transparency. And click OK. That's given us our little square we need. Now we go to our ellipse tool and click on that. Now to make the circle perfectly round you, you click the fixed aspect ratio. So you put a tick inside that little button there and that makes the circle perfectly round so we, all we need now is to draw that circle within that box and let it go. Now the next thing we need to do is, is fill it with black. We go to the paint fill bucket fill tool and the foreground's already selected in black as the default and you click with inside the, your selection. Now let's cover it all in, in black. Now we need to give it a little black border so what we do here is we go to select and we shrink it and we shrink it for about four pixels for that size of the circle. Now we've got the, the inner circle selected and the outer circle's got your uh, dancing ants. So we hit the delete key on the keyboard and that kills the in, inner circle. And we need to add a new layer. It needs to be a new layer, a transparency. Now the size is, is knows that you're dealing with a 150 by 150 so the new layer will be, be the same. Click OK. This is the funny part about it. We fill the inner circle now with the black paint. We, so the paint bucket fill tool is already still selected and we chose to click inside there. Now we, we go over to our layers dialog and channel and lower the opacity down from around about 50% right on. Now it's still selected and we right click the top one and we merge down. That brings both the, the uh, two layers together. You need to use the merge down otherwise you'll lose your transparency. We go to select and select none. Now the next thing we need to do is to save our brush. So we go to file and save as. Now you need to select your uh, particular folder um, in this case it's mine marked as Tom and you find the GIMP folder, GIMP 2.6. So you click on that and open it up and your brush folder is right on the top. So I'll just click on one of the brushes, it needs that extension, GBR, which is GIMP brush. Now I'll change the name to, I'll just call it new because it's a new brush. And then hit save. That saves our new brush. It asks for what spacings you want. There's, there's no need to worry about that. They normally default to 20 spaces. That means when you drag your brush across the screen, it'll do 20 spaces in pixels. So it's of no, nothing special. And you can name your brush. Uh, we'll call it Boca E H. Yep, the Boca brush. We click and save and the, and the job's done. So we close that one off when it's uh, finished saving, of course. Okay, we close that one off. We don't require it anymore. Now we're going to make a new a new uh, canvas or 
your image and click on new and because it still thinks you're in the 150 by 150 we don't need that we need a quite a big template so we pull down the template down arrow and we choose a reasonably sized template click OK now we've got our template chosen we go to our blend tool and we choose a blend that we feel will give a nice background colour now they normally use this full saturation blend so we'll just drag it across there and let's place the colour in, in, inside the, uh, the new layer. We go to layer, make a new layer and click OK. Now the new layer is selected already on the top. We go to our bucket fill tool again and fill the new layer in black. That fills it all in black. Now the next thing we need to do is to add a layer mask. This is where it differs from some of the other tutorials. Add a layer mask. Full white opacity. Now we go to our paintbrush tool and we're going to start our work on our paint soon. We go to um, looking for our new brush. It's not there. So we, what we do now, we need to hit the refresh button. We, we need to pull that channel down a little so we can move it up. There's our refresh button. Refresh it and refreshes all the, all the uh, brushes. That's the new one we made. Uh, yeah, that's the Boca one. You can see we named it the Boca one. The other one's just a normal brush, gimp brush. This one here is the Boca. Now, we have the Boca brush picked. The other thing with a lot of tutorials, they go through and put a couple of circles on, on the uh, cover of this black screen and then they go and change the, the size of the circle so you get a random circles you can do it within brush dynamics just open it up and you've got random and then you've got size you just click on the random size put a tick in there now we need to make the brush a little bit bigger to start with because random will start from the brush you've got chosen so that's reasonable size I use the square bracket keys on the keyboard that increase that size click once and notice it randomly chooses sizes for me which is nice and easy nice couple of red ones up there and we cover a few more in there okay that makes it nice and easy the other thing is we come over to our layers uh, channel right click the uh, the top layer with the mask on it and we ask it to apply the mask that applies the mask to that uh, top layer now we go to our filters and of course burka a uh, bokeh says it's, it's uh, out of focus so we need to click the uh, Gaussian blur, uh, blur now in the in the we just key it up to around about 8 on this one or 9 in this case click OK and it'll blur that for me put it slightly out of focus now I go to layers and I add another layer mask that puts another layer mask full wide opacity once again on top of that particular one there now our brush is already picked and we just start clicking and that's fair nice and, and clear now because the backgrounds are out of focus so we need a couple of nice red ones up there and there we go and so you have your poker effect and you keep you can keep doing that putting one lot out of focus and then going and making some more further on so all we do now is right click on that and then uh, apply the layer mask and that's uh, that's completed our tutorial you can keep going with that sort of format and putting two or three more layers in there and putting them further and further in the background so it, it uh, all you need to do is keep adding a layer mask we right click on the top layer and then we ask it to merge down. That merges the two together, and there's our job completed. We just save it as a normal, um, save it as a normal JPEG file, and we can use it as a desktop uh, background or anything else you choose to use it for. Okay, thank you for uh, watching, and don't forget to rate the video. Also, uh, visit my channel, where you'll find a hard printout copy of this in a.